Hey, it's Mike from Node Conference Education. I have an exercise that I want to show you that I use when I am manifesting an item. I've used this technique, well, I, I use this technique daily. And the, the technique is what I call to rest in the feeling of having already received. So, let me, let me give you a couple of examples. One example is uh, I hold an annual event every year called Note Vision. Uh, this year it's going to be Note Vision 2020, which is a really cool title. And it's a big event. Uh, the last four that we've held, uh, we've had them, well, all of them have been held in New Jersey. And we get between 15 and 35 attendees every year. So as I, as I start the year, I tell myself, you know, we're going to hold this event. We're going to have 35 attendees. It's going to be fabulous. It's going to be spectacular. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be a high end event. Uh, and then as I start to think about it, I'm like, you know what? Maybe, Maybe we'll put it off this year. It's too much work. It's too much work. It's too much stress on me. It's too much stress on my family. Uh, both of my kids are heavily involved in the planning of this event. And the food preparation, the venue itself, it's a week-long event. And I, and I start to talk myself out of holding the event. It's too much work. It's too much time. It's too much stress. It's too much money blah, blah, blah. And as I had this wonderful idea of holding the event, and then I talk myself out of it, I see that I do that with a lot of things, with a lot of grand, great ideas that I have. I have the tendency to talk myself out of them. I, I think a lot of you do that as well. And it's a lot of it has a lot to do with why so many people don't have the businesses that they really, really, truly want is because they talk themselves out of it. I don't have enough money. I'm not smart enough. I don't have the time. I don't have the support. Whatever it is, we end up talking ourselves out of it. So I quickly catch myself now when I'm talking myself out of it and I want to jump ahead in the future to the feeling of having already accomplished the event, the event. So what does that mean? Well, instead of picturing how much work it's going to be and what venue we're going to use and all of the mechanical particulars of the actual event, meaning the food, where it's going to be located, the actual week, where where we're going to be, all the tools that I'll need. I'll need a projector, I'll need a screen, I'll need a microphone, a PA system. Uh, I, I actually need the people to come and pay me to go to this event. All of the mechanical things that it takes to run an event, that's all just, I put all that aside. And I, and I jump to the day after the event is complete and we, my family and I and anyone else that was involved in the preparation and the planning of this event, I picture the day after. And it's a celebration, usually, if you know me. And we are celebrating the fact that the event was better than we ever thought. And I jump ahead to that resting in the feeling of having already completed and received the event. And what is that gonna feel like? Oh, it feels fantastic. My family is there, we're all done, we're exhausted. We're probably saying things like, we'll probably never do that again. Or that was an amazing event, I can't wait until next year. Whatever it is that we're, we're saying in the celebration, I try to picture it. I try to picture that we're actually having cocktails, we're, we're planning next year's event, we're celebrating. And, um, and so I am, 
I get in that mode now, six months prior to the event, so that I can get into the mode of it already being done and accomplished. And now every time that I go to talk myself out of the event, I bring myself to the celebration of the day after the event and I calm down and I continue on with the work that's before me to do, which is planning that event. You can use this technique for anything. Let's use this technique for having a surplus of capital. I know that that's a big issue for a lot of people, having a surplus of capital, of cash available, is probably 95% of this country's uh, issue because people automatically, for some crazy reason, they live paycheck to paycheck, myself included. <clears throat> for years and years, probably the, the last 30 years of my life was hand to mouth, was paycheck to paycheck. Until I started to rest in the feeling of having already received. And so what does that feel like to have money available? Uh, I'm using $30,000 as an example. I want to rest in the feeling of having already received a $30,000 surplus of capital in my bank account. So, so what does that feel like? I, I have 30000 in the bank now. I feel very relieved. I feel like I wish it was 60000 I may feel, wow, I've got, this is the first time in my life I've actually had $30,000 of surplus money sitting in my bank account or sitting on my desk of, of having $30,000 of, of cash. And so I, I, I really want to pay attention to my emotions when I really don't have the 30,000 yet, but I am imagining it. What do, what does that really feel like? Am, am I, am I really comfortable with having $30,000 sitting on my desk? Or am I afraid that someone's going to come in and steal it? Am I afraid that I will lose it and now I'll, I'll go back to zero? Uh, maybe you had a feeling when you were 16 years old that you did have a nice chunk of capital and you did lose it. Maybe you lost it at a casino or you physically lost it or you blew it, you spent it. And you came to the conclusion that, that having cash available is a scary feeling or it's a dangerous feeling or I'm not worthy of this capital. And now, at least when you are trying to rest in the feeling of having already received, you can get down a layer or two into your emotions to see why it is that you do not have a surplus of capital. Maybe $30,000 is chunk change to you. Maybe it's, it's $3 million. And whatever your number is, I'm using 30 because that's what I have available today. So you may have made the decision early on as in a young adult that having, having cash was dangerous and it was much easier just to barely get by with just enough. And that's what you've been giving yourself all these years is just enough to survive. And why is it that so many people live at that level, that just above poverty, just above broke, right? That's what job stands for, just above broke. And not really going out and using your creativity to figure out how to bring your big capital in. So to rest in the feeling of having already received will teach you many, many lessons. Lessons about yourself, lessons about 
why you do have what you do have and why you don't have what you don't have. And when you can get to the point of being very comfortable in resting in the feeling of having already received whatever it is you are trying to bring into your life, that's when the magic happens. And now you're at that vibrational level for the actual event to take place, whether it's that physical event that I was talking about, uh, holding a, a venue, or having some available cash kicking around to get you the things that you think you want and need, and the comfort that having a little surplus cash actually brings. Uh, it's a, it is a great feeling. But at least now you have something to work with, and you have an answer as to why the money is or is not flowing into your, into your experience. So hopefully this has brought about and will bring about some change in your life by resting in having already received. I will touch on this subject many more times through this video series. Uh, again, my name is Mike from No Conference Education. If you like this content, please subscribe below. And if you want to get notified when I put up new videos, I'm trying to do a video a day. Click on the, uh, the bell icon. You will get notified uh, that we are putting up new content. If you have any suggestions on future videos, please comment below. Or if you like this content, please comment below as to what you, exactly you liked about it. And let me know if you are applying these techniques and if you're getting results, because that's what this is all about, is getting results. Again, Mike from noconference.com. Thanks for watching.